So, you want an electric skateboard, but you don't have much money. I'm gonna tell you how to make the best electric skateboard for $450, and it doesn't involve buying one of those cheap ass clones from China. They're rubbish. Don't do it. I'll show you a picture of what I'm talking about. This is a Lec Deck. There's a Melon. Uh, they're all the same. They're all the same electronics. Uh, Luvo, same thing. Look at that, worst $400 ever spent. What else? Um, Magneto, same electronics, same company. They can't even adjust the belt on them. There's no adjustment, the motor's tiny. I will tell you what you should buy with for $450. Really good electric skateboard. Okay, firstly, let's go to Hobby King. You need to buy a motor, charger, batteries, and a controller. Four things from Hobby King. Let's get a motor. You want an SK3, so just type it in the search. SK3, 245KV. Do a search on that. Now you wanna make sure you choose your warehouse. If you're in US, choose the US warehouse. It's cheaper shipping, it's faster. Buy the biggest motor you can afford. Now there are cheaper motors, don't buy them. Buy the biggest motor you can afford, I'm telling you, I'm an expert. So this one here, that looks good. 73, let's call it $74. Now we need batteries. We're gonna get two smaller batteries and we're gonna join them together in series. Type 3S, 5000 milliamp. Search by price, buy the cheapest one. Okay, there's a few here. 20C, 25C, 30C. You know what, if, if you do have an extra few bucks, maybe go the other one, but you know, you're on a budget here. Let's just get, I don't know, there's one there for 25 bucks. Get two of them. We're gonna join them in series. So you're gonna have a 6S battery with 5,000 milliamp. That's the same watt hours as booster boards. So you're gonna have the same battery, as same capacity as booster. Um, okay, what else do we need? Controller. The easiest way to find your controller is come down here, radios and receivers. Go into complete systems. There we go, there we go. GT2B is the best option. $26, $27, whatever you wanna call it. It's a bit ugly, but it's super reliable, okay? Get that one. We just need the charger, battery charger. So use the menu at the side here, go to chargers and accessories, and go to battery charger, DC only. And we're gonna buy the cheapest charger, it's IMAX V6 DC charger. Okay, it's $17, okay. You've now got the motor, the battery, the charger, and the controller, okay? Now, go to Inertion's website, my website. Search VESC, okay? You can get cheaper motor controllers, but we're not trying to make the crappest electric skateboard you can, we're trying to make the best one you can for $400, okay? So you type VESC, open this up, Okay, that's a motor controller. You need one of them. Like I said, it's not the cheapest, but you know, it's the best. It's 106 bucks, buy that. It's free shipping, buy it. The other thing you can buy from us, and it's probably about the cheapest you can get anywhere anyway, is you need a pulley to put in the wheels. So just type pulley into the search box. Scroll down. Now we're just building a single drive here, one motor. So in that case, you just want the 12 millimeter system. See this, you get the belt, you get a wheel pulley and you get a motor pulley, okay? Buy that, it's 38 bucks. Search open source, I download this. It's a free design for making your own motor mount. Now you don't have to make, just the picture looks fancy, you don't have to make that. But what it will give you, it'll give you drawings, it will give you the center distancing and that's what you need, the center distancing It'll give you the, the dimensions, everything you need. Download that, because you're gonna make your own motor mount. You're gonna get aluminium for free. You're just gonna go to a, a metal workshop. It's very inexpensive aluminium, and you're gonna make that. You're gonna use tools that are in your shed, a hacksaw, a file, and a drill. That's it. Look what this guy made. See this? This is handmade. It's really good. Look at that. He made that with hand tools, okay? You're gonna do that. So, from Inertion, you're buying the VESC and the wheel pulley. That's it. Now what we want to do, let's go to eBay. We need some skateboard stuff, unless you've got a skateboard. Search, search 83 millimeter skateboard wheels. Do the search, scroll down. You want to find the ones, see this, this is a, a good one. See how it's got that pattern in the wheel? That's what you need. You need a wheel that has spokes in it, basically. With the spokes in there, the pulley goes into it, 
locks in. That's 60 bucks. You could probably get them cheaper if you really tried, but that's a good deal. You get trucks, wheels, bearings, everything. 60 bucks, you're laughing. Now, you need a deck, okay? I just searched longboard. There are heaps. You know, there's one for 50 bucks. You just scroll down, you find one you like. That's the beauty of building your own electric skateboard. You can choose the style of and that's why it's so cool. You know, there's one for 55 bucks, okay? 50 bucks. The, the, this one actually comes with, oh, that's got a drop down. You don't want that, you don't want that. Anyway, there's heaps of them on there, 50 bucks, get a deck. So you've got wheels and a deck and trucks and bearings from eBay, okay? So that's it. Wait for all your stuff to arrive in the mail. Depending where you live and where you buy from, there's gonna be some shipping. Maybe it's 20 or 30 bucks. And that's it, then you're gonna get, everything's gonna arrive. By the time it arrives, you've already made your motor mount. You're gonna, if you have trouble mounting it to your, your truck hanger, just modify the, the truck hanger and you can epoxy it onto it, easy. And then come onto the forum and create a new build thread. Electric-skateboard.buildersforum. Go into the, the eboard builds and you're basically going to look what everyone else did and you're gonna get all the answers. If there's questions, post them in there. People will help you for free and you will make a very, very good electric skateboard which has the same range as a booster board, much more torque, it's gonna to have a huge motor, it's gonna be with the latest speed controller for the, the motor and it's gonna be heaps better than that Chinese crap that these people are trying to sell and make a quick buck. Don't buy them, please. Build it yourself. Build it, don't buy it. So the only other bits of advice I would give you with this build, if you've got a little bit of extra money, I would suggest two really important things. Get a bit bigger battery. 100 watt hours is not much. Ideally, you're probably gonna wanna ride this really sweet skateboard for more than a few minutes. For me, I like to ride for about maybe an hour is a nice ride. Think about that. Maybe get the batteries that I suggest, get four of them and put in series, then in parallel. So you'll actually end up with double the capacity. Okay, so that that's hot tip number one. Hot tip number two, don't get a cheap deck. The cheap decks are crap. Go to a skateboard shop. Support the skateboard shop, please. Get a deck that you really like. That's the beauty of building your own electric skateboard. It's it's a style. Everyone's different. Everyone has a different stand. I personally like decks with a kicktail. That's what I, my first skateboard was with a kicktail. I used to ride trick decks. That's what I like. You might not. You might be for more like a, a downhill sort of rider. Get Buy a really nice deck is what I'm saying. And then make your skateboard. The contents of this box could make or break the future of inertia boards. It's a big moment. Be ready. Do we have a faultless product? Please be 